Hello, it's Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Oracle. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're going to talk about the Sun through Pisces cycle for 2018. Here are the start times for each section and let's jump in. All right, you guys, so let's run through some charts as usual. So let's start with the day that the sun moves into Pisces. As you can see, we have Venus and Mercury joining Neptune, which means we're going to have a lot of lovely conjunctions and meetups with Neptune as we move through the cycle. And another thing I noticed about this cycle, um, we have a lot of um, days where we have two significant events. So let's jump ahead to the next chart, which is March 1st. This is a nice full moon, full Virgo moon. And there is also a beautiful connection here, a trine between Venus and Jupiter. This is another thing you're going to see a lot of during this cycle. We have all the yummy Neptune meetups. Here's a postcard for that. And we have these lovely trines to Jupiter because it's also in a water sign. So all this watery Pisces energy um, is going to be in evidence throughout the cycle, but really a lot at the first half. And I say that because let's drum roll to the um, next chart. This is the sixth. This is when we start to get a change of tempo. You'll notice that Venus moves into Aries. Definitely done. It's going to shake off all the watery energy. And if you notice, Mercury has just moved in there as well. They both go into Aries on the sixth. And Mercury will be in Aries during its next retrograde. So pay attention. Um, let's move on to chart number four. I know I'm moving quickly, but um, I'll give you the interpretation in the second part here. Um, I want to just give you the lay of the land. And so in this chart, you're going to see this retrograde energy starting. We have Jupiter actually going retrograde in Scorpio. Holy cow. <laughs> I, I told you guys when it went into Scorpio, we'd see sex scandals. I think that was literally the day we started with Harvey Weinstein. We've gotten through how many congressional members. And wow, Jupiter going retrograde in Scorpio. I can't wait to see what it digs up. Like, just keep going, you know? Me too, right? Um, so, so yeah, this is this is a big retrograde. And then sort of accenting it, although you can't really tell from this chart, but I'll give you all the dates. Um, not only do we have this Jupiter retrograde, but Mercury will be entering the shadow period of its next retrograde. I say that slowly for the beginner so that you guys don't get confused. The Mercury retrograde itself does not start until the 22nd. However, because we're ending this video, it'll take us up to March 20th. Um, I didn't want to not talk about the Mercury retrograde that's coming just so you guys can be prepared. So get all your paperwork done, all your taxes, because this one doesn't end until April 15th. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> um, so so you want to start getting those things in order. So it's sort of this, you know, double underlined retrograde thing with Jupiter retrograde starting the time that Mercury enters the shadow period of its next retrograde. And chart number five, St. Patrick's Day. This is a new Pisces moon, massive degree of Pisces, 26 degrees there. That's a lot of Pisces, of course. Now, it's pretty far away from Neptune at that point, but we're going to feel the Neptune yumminess because anytime you have a strong degree new moon like that, you get lots of the element or quality of the sign that it is in. And the big thing, kind of closing out this cycle and setting us up for a whole lot of cardinal action in all kinds of areas, like phenomena, is uh, look at Mars going in to Capricorn. In this chart for the moon, it's late, 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 as late as it can be in Sag, which means it is just one degree away from going into Capricorn. 
this is going to be a big transit and again I'm telling you about it early because when Mars goes retrograde this summer it will actually go back into Capricorn so we're hitting up a lot of themes that we're going to be revisiting to some degree but of course you guys who follow astrology know that wow um, that will put Mars connecting in the same sign with Saturn and Pluto that's like all the bad boys <laughs> <laughs> reforming things as Jupiter discovers and turns up things and the Mercury goes retrograde and instigative Aries. Oh my goodness, we have a lot coming over the next couple months, but we are in Pisces and I want to give all the beautiful, mellow, oh, dreaming qualities of Pisces their due. So let's get to part number two where I give you a little, you know, just my interpretation, but those are the charts and dates that um, I want you to notice and be aware of, okay? All right, I don't know where I remember it from, but the what is the meaning of all this? <laughs> <laughs> it's always in the back of my mind when I do the second part of these videos. So when we talk about Pisces, we are talking about mutable water. We are talking about integration, a sign that completes the turn of the astrological wheel. It is the 12th sign, meaning it also rules the 12th house and all 12th house issues. This is a deep psychological clearing and preparation for the new and obviously you know for years now we've had neptune in pisces i think it went there 2011 if i'm off the top of my head remembering this um hard to be logical in pisces right <laughs> I'm going to blame Pisces and Neptune. But anyways, um, as you guys have noticed over the last couple of years, we've had, you know, extra strong Pisces cycles because of this Neptune influence. And that will continue to be the case. Um, and so these are artistic endeavors. These are psychic endeavors, spiritual endeavors. All of this is heightened. And particularly on the first half of this cycle, with Venus and Mercury um, being in there. Um, sorry about the color on this, speaking about artistic endeavors. Um, not sure what's up with the monitor every time the um, clouds move around, the lighting changes, but sorry about that. Um, All right, to conclude. So Pisces gives us this intuitive, intrinsic ability to assimilate, to blend, to learn from others it's been through the whole zodiac it learns something from each sign and then at the end it puts it all together and what i feel like this cycle is representing with a big change right in the middle after we get past that yummy um, full moon when things start to go into aries those puzzle pieces will start to fall into place and so i feel like we're gonna get some of the aries energy moving a little early um but really enjoy those first couple weeks of the cycle. Everything is so nicely aspected, both with Neptune connections um, as the planets move through Pisces, with positive connections to Pluto um, in Capricorn. These are sextiles, meaning they're very harmonious and supportive. And of course, the water trines to Jupiter and Scorpio. So this is just you know, swimming and getting things done, but we can do it with such peace in the middle of chaos. We can really find our spiritual center and just move so intuitively through whatever's going on. And I do believe we'll be making new beginnings as well as, as you know, before the sun even gets to Aries on March 20th. So really good cycle ahead, you guys. And uh, again, sorry about the little lighting bouncing. I think it's when I move my head around because I, you know, I'm Latin. I talk with my hands in my head. But the more I do that, the more the lighting gets a little wonky. So apologies about that. But let's jump to the resources section and I'll tell you about a new little special I'm running. Okay. All right. So um, 
first of all, please join me with my friend Christy Ayala on her show, Christy's Connection to the Soul on Blog Talk. It's free and available anytime um, for you to download or you can join us live. It's always the third Wednesday of the month um, and available in the archive. Uh, I'm Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Oracle. You can connect with me on my site for a reading um, and to sign up for a free monthly newsletter. And I'm also running my three minute Friday special. This is really fun. Um, I do this from time to time. So when you place an order on a Friday, who doesn't love Friday? You get five free minutes with any order. So that's even like a 10 minute order. You can get you know, 15 minutes for the price of 10. Um, always really fun to do. So if you've been thinking about getting a reading, Pisces is such a wonderful cycle for it. It's just so psychic and um, intuitive. So it'd be a great time to connect. So feel free to reach me there. Um, highly likely that I will be taking the Aries cycle off and joining you when the sun gets into Taurus. Horus, um, just so many things going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a video out, <laughs> but uh, I may try. But you know, just in case you you know you miss the Aries one, it's not you, um, it's me. And for sure, I'll be back for the Sun into Taurus. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, sign up for the newsletter, and uh, we will talk to you soon.